<laughs> okay, well, that's different. So, it seems earlier today that Paramount Pictures finally put out a trailer for the Nolan Just Dating adaptation of Sonic the Hedgehog based on the video game series of the same name, and it's getting some um, reactions which are polarizing, to say the least. I mean, I'm not going to be going into other people's reactions for the most part, or other than that. But I will be addressing the scenes, and I'm not going to be going following this one too actively. It's just kind of like one of those rare spur of the moment things with me, where I just address how I feel about it, and and what I intend to do about it since. Much like the video games are based on, the media adaptations of Sonic have had quite a variation of quality over the years, but I found something to enjoy in almost all of them, even if the adaptation itself is not very good. And however this one turns out, you know, I think it's definitely going to be another case case of this movie, because some of my laughter at this trailer is intentional, other parts of it are not. In many ways, it does kind of remind me of that, of that viral Sonic fan film with a slightly larger budget and only slightly more bizarre, or, or visuals and characterization. I mean, well, and that should sometimes about my feelings about it since it's going to be starring Ben Schwartz, part of creation fame as the title character. Jim Carrey as Dr. Eva Aitman and James Mars as police officer who happens to run into the blue blur. And I personally don't have anything against the design they're going with. At least, unlike some other video game I at least tell what it is. It's a blue hedgehog with very running shoes. Though I admit the muscular Tarot in his body is giving me some weird hot flashbacks, as well as that the individual bend all each quill of his fur, I mean... I mean, that's gonna take some getting used to, I mean... And... I really don't know how the whole movie's gonna turn out, to be honest, I mean... It does kind of remind me of those Scooby-Doo movies I had in the early 2000s where... Er, which looked alright at the time, but now they look more like a live action cartoon than the reasons the creators originally intended for them. And apparently they tried, they wanted to make them originally like a more college-oriented parody of the franchise, but they said we told them the kids movie instead, man. And, and I think it's kind of like that Jason Bateman meme where I didn't know what I expected, man, to be honest, man. Since this is just something, something that I wasn't expecting to plan on doing. I'm still also trying to work out how I'll look back at some of the other, other ones I've seen in the past, but regardless of how this movie turns out, I gotta say, it's gonna be a very strange movie. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be able to overcome this, because, as I mean, but overall I still think I can think I I am more convinced as an Alita I was with Lady the Battle Angel man and I know it's been something like that for a while, but I mean, if you're not into it then I'm not gonna hold that against you. But it could be worse. So I could still be in the movie after all, man. But anyway, that's all for now. And as I say, Gotta go fast. <laughs>